Hello, in this video we will look at change of momentum and impulse. Okay, change of momentum and impulse. Right, first of all, um, let's talk about our momentum first of all. The symbol for momentum is P. Our momentum equals mass times velocity. Now, um, the momentum of a closed system um, is conserved, and that's known as the conservation of momentum. So the conservation of momentum is such that the momentum of a, of a system is conserved unless acting on by external forces, or, or basically the momentum of a closed system is conserved. Now, that, that, is, that is very true, but um, the momentum of a particular particle itself can in fact um, change as long as the total momentum of, of the system doesn't change. Okay, now let's have a look at, at a situation here. Let's have a look at a particle. Why, why be a particle? Why not be a ball? Anything like that. Something moving towards a wall. So here's a wall. And let's say um, here is a ball bearing, something like that, uh, moving in with a velocity of five, or let's say speed of five meters per second, coming in to hit the wall, and hits the wall, and then it comes back in the opposite direction with a velocity of four meters per second. Okay, so what's happened? Well, it's going to hit the wall for a small moment of time. And for a, for a force for a small moment of, of time, that is often known as an impulse. OK, so it's an, an impulse. And in fact, impulse I is equal to the force times the time of the collision. OK, now let's have a look at this again. So it comes and hits there. Now, clearly something something changes. OK, so so what what changes? Well, first of all, the momentum of this particle changes and the change in momentum is equal to. Change in momentum. Is equal to it's known as a formula is equal to mass times velocity that's final velocity, minus mass times initial velocity. That's V for final velocity and U for initial velocity. OK, and that is a change in momentum. In fact, we could write that the force it feels is equal to change in momentum divided by the time of the impulse. So, so we should see, therefore, if that impulse is force times time, impulse is simply equal to change in momentum. OK, now I'll rub this stuff off and we'll have a look at the um, mathematics again. So let's rub some stuff off. Okay, that doesn't rub off very well. OK, so let's rub that off. Now we'll start again. So comes in at five. Um, let's saw mass m, meters second minus two, and returns uh, again mass m at four meters per second. The mass stays the same. So what the change of momentum is going to be, or the force is going to feel on there, the force that's going to, the, or the average force that the ball will feel, and also the wall will feel, uh, due to Newton's third law, the average force is going to be mv minus mu divided by time, which is equal to, um, well, let's, let's make m easy. Let's say mass equals two kilograms. So what the, now we're going to take, we're going to decide what is positive. I'm going to say that the final velocity is positive. So we're going to say, right, I'm going to say that positive is in that direction. So therefore, and that's very important, therefore if it's positive in that direction, it's negative in that direction. So that will give us mass, so that's 2 
times 4 minus, now it's going to be opposite direction, so it's minus minus 2 times 5. So 4 equals 2 times 4 minus minus 2 times 5, or divided by the time. Now let's say the time of impulse, say, let's say time is equal to 0 0.1 seconds. So therefore, the average force that the ball will feel, and also the wall will feel, will be equal to 8, the double negative is a positive, plus 10, which is 18, divided by 0 0.1. And 18 uh, divided by 0 0.1 gives us 100. And 80 newtons. So the force it will feel will be 180 newtons. Now, if the, as there is a change in momentum of the ball, well, what else is where else is the momentum going to also change to make sure that the total change in the system is zero? Well, in fact, there will be some momentum given to the wall, uh, and that's how we don't break the conservation, uh, the law of the conservation of momentum.